Hi guys, welcome to Think IoT Solutions. So we'll be continuing with our OpenCV tutorials, and uh, today we'll be looking at drawing functions in OpenCV. So we'll be looking at uh, three different uh, drawing functions. That is uh, a line, a rectangle, and a circle. So we'll concentrate on uh, a particular image initially, a black image, and then see how to draw a line. Uh, and a rectangle and a circle on that particular image and then we'll also look at inserting a text onto an image that is if, if there's any image that you have and if you want to write something on that image then uh, you'll be able to do it with with the function that is defined for inserting the text so let us move on to our google collab platform so which i've been using from the beginning so i've written a few codes here so uh, let me just explain uh, the first code and let us just execute it to see what happens so here uh, basically I'm just importing a numpy library import numpy as np and then import cv2 as cv so this is same thing as we have been doing in these tutorials uh, from the basic tutorials as well and then I'm importing a, a function called uh, cv2 underscore im show because uh, this function is used to show the output image so that is what I'm importing in the first three lines and uh, in order to uh, demonstrate the line rectangle and the circle functions what we'll do is we'll create a black image that is we'll create an image which has all the pixels as zeros and on that particular image we'll be drawing these uh, these different shapes uh, and then we'll see how the output is going to look like so what I'm doing here is I'm taking a variable called img and I am using the numpy and I'm just defining as a numpy np dot zeros and I'm giving the uh, dimensions of that particular matrix so basically I'm giving a 512 cross 512 matrix and I want to uh, use a color image here that is I want to showcase different colors for the lines and the rectangles that I'll be drawing so therefore I'm taking a 512 cross 512 comma 3 or cross 3 image so basically it's a 3d image that I'm taking which has 512 pixels on the x side and 512 pixels on the y dimension so this is what I'm initializing so now img has a black image which has these pixels so that is what this particular line is doing and then in order to showcase the first function that is how to draw a line on a particular image so I'm using the function called cv.line so the cv is nothing but what we are importing the module as cv2 so I'm just saying cv.line and then I'm giving this particular variable here so img is a variable which has got a black image so I'm just passing this variable here img comma I'm giving the first point and the second point in between which I want to draw a line so basically I want to draw a line here from the origin that is 0 comma 0 to 512 comma 512 because my image has got 512 pixels on the x and 512 on the y I want to draw a line which starts at the origin and goes all the way up to the uh, end of the image that is the last pixel on the image that is 512 comma 512 so these are the two points that we have to give in order to draw a line and then we need to give a three element vector which specifies the color of that image so basically uh, as we know a color image in uh, in this open cv can be given by blue green and red, red pixels so therefore these are the three uh, pixel entries that i have so in the blue now i have given 255 in uh, green i've given zero and in red also i've given zero so basically when i do this it is going to create a line which is a blue color line because there is 255 in blue it means that uh, the color that I'm choosing here is a blue color and the last uh, argument that I'm passing to this particular function is uh, the line thickness so in this case I'm using a line thickness of 5 pixels so whenever I execute this particular function it is going to create a line starting from 0 comma 0 going all the way up to 512 comma 512 that is these are the x1 y1 and x2 y2 points of a line and I'm passing a particular color in which I want that line to be drawn so here I'm passing 255 comma 0 comma 0 that is a blue color and then I'm passing the thickness of the line and in this case it is a 5 pixels so that is what the thickness is going to be then I'm using the cv2 underscore im show function which I'm importing here and I'm passing this particular img to that particular 
function so whenever i run this code it is going to create a black image and it is going to draw a blue line from 0 comma 0 to 512 comma 512 so let me run the code now yeah so if you can see the result here so this is how the image looks like so the line starts at the origin that is 0 comma 0 and it goes all the way up to 512 comma 512 that is how we have given so let's say if, if I want to change this particular line so instead of the line passing from 512 to 512 let's say I want it at the middle of the image so therefore let's just pick a middle of the image as 256 so basically the line will now start at origin and will go up to the half of the image that is up till the center up till here and I leave the other parameters as same so let me just execute it so now if you can see because I changed the coordinates of those two points if you see here the line starts at origin and it's going up to 256 comma 256 so this is how you can give any two points and it is going to create a line for you in between those two points so if you don't want it from the origin you can also change the first coordinate and you can just give 128 comma 128 so it's going to create a line in between that so then uh, let us see if if i change any other color so instead of blue if i want a red line so i make the third pixel as 255 because the third pixel generally represents the red so whenever i run it you will get a red line and uh, by changing the last entry that is the last argument instead of phi if you want to reduce the thickness of the line you can reduce this value if you want to increase it you can increase the value so this is about the line function in the OpenCV. Now let us move on and see how to draw a rectangle. So the function is again same so cv dot rectangle so for a line it is line and for the rectangle you need to write cv dot rectangle and then I'm passing the same image that I passed above that is img. So this img is nothing but it's a black image but it has got a small line that we just drew on the top so that is what the img variable contains and here in order for a rectangle to be passed again I need to give the two points so the two corner points basically so 384 comma 0 is going to be one point phi 10 comma phi 10 is going to be another point on that particular image and uh, again the same thing what we did for a line so basically I'm again passing the color here so because 0 comma 0 comma 255 is red uh, I'll change it I'll make it to a green line so I'll give 0 comma 255 comma 0 so basically it's going to draw a green rectangle and the thickness of that rectangle is going to be 3 that is the boundary of that rectangle so this is how simple it is to draw a rectangle in in OpenCV so this is the first point x1 y1 that is the two corner points and x2 y2 so in between these two corner points the rectangle is going to be drawn so once I run this particular uh, code it is going to use that image img so the image img is a black image with a small red line and on that it has drawn this rectangle so if you can see the points that we have chosen is 384 comma 0 so 384 comma 0 is this point right and then phi 10 comma phi 10 is almost the last point on that image so it is this point so basically you are providing the two diagonal points of a rectangle and it is going to draw a rectangle in between those two points so uh, let's say if I uh, if I change this if I change the value instead of 510 if I just want a rectangle uh, till 128 and uh, I'll change the color of the rectangle to blue this time so I'll give the first entry as 255 and I'll uh, give it uh, the second second entry as 0 and instead of 3 I'll use a thickness of 5 so when I run this you will see this older rectangle as still there and on that you will see a blue rectangle because the image img already a stored variable has got these red line and a blue uh, green rectangle so when I run this you will see that there is an additional uh, rectangle that you have here so if you see that 384 comma 0 is this point now and 128 comma 128 is this point at exactly here so therefore again I've picked the two diagonal points so it is going to draw a rectangle in between these two points and now it is going to draw a rectangle which is blue in color because I've given 255 comma 0 comma 0 and the thickness is 5 so if you see the img image or the variable that we have 
now contains a total black pixels and on that we have drawn a line we have drawn a rectangle that is a green rectangle and then we change the coordinates and then we are drawing a blue rectangle so this is how you can uh, draw rectangles using cv.rectangle then the next function that we have is cv.circle so this is also similar to what we used again we have to pass an image variable that is img in this case and we have to pass the center of the rectangle and the radius so here the center of rectangle is 128 comma 128 and uh, the radius of the rectangle is 63 and these two uh, are again same arguments that is the first one is the color and the next one is the thickness of that particular uh, uh, circle that you want to draw so cv dot circle is going to draw a circle with a center and a radius so in this case it is 128 comma 128 radius is 63 and uh, the color again given is blue in this case and uh, the pixel the thickness of the outer circle is going to be one so when i run it uh, you can see that img the variable is there that is the the image that has got all the shapes that we have drawn so far and on that it is going to draw a circle which is blue in color and the thickness of the line is one pixel so therefore this is what is a circle that you can see so uh, there's another interesting feature in OpenCV that is if you want the circle to be filled you can just give a minus one on the thickness side and when you give a minus one the the circle is going to be drawn but it is going to be totally filled within so if you see I run it it is going to create a circle which is a uh, internally filled circle so that you can uh, give by passing an argument like a minus one on the thickness front and all other things will remain same if you want to draw a circle at any other place you can just change these coordinates instead of 128 uh, you can go for uh, 256 and then you can draw a smaller uh, you can take you can pick a smaller radius like a 36 or something and uh, you execute it it's going to create another circle just beside because i've just changed the x axis it the circle uh, now uh, is lying at the center 256 comma 128 and the radius is also smaller than the earlier circle so this is how you can draw the uh, uh, circle using cv.circle then moving on to the last function for this tutorial the this is the function which is going to put the text so the name of the function is also put text and uh, again we need to pass an image to this particular uh, function and uh, we need to write some text so in this case i'm writing a text called think iot and uh, then i'm using the starting point from where the text has to be written the font that i'm choosing here uh, in another variable called font and uh, the thickness of the line and then the color so whatever the color you want that color you will be able to uh, put it here so currently i'm taking 255 and 255 on the first and the third so it is going to give me a combination of blue and uh, red uh, so whenever blue and red are mixed in equal colors so whatever that combination color is going to come up so that particular uh, uh, color is used to print this think iot onto this image img so whenever i run it you will see that uh, the image is there whatever we created on the top and then it is going to put think iot at the location that i want so because i've given 10 comma 500 as the location so it is going to uh, start at that location and then it's going to put the text so because i have given 255 comma 0 comma 255 for the color so it is a combination uh, color that is coming here so if you want to write it at any other place so let's say if you want to uh, write it at 10 comma let's say uh, in the middle of the image that is if i take the y as 256 then it is going to write at the middle of the image and uh, so I'll, I'll i'll change if i if i want a white color so let's say i put all the three colors as equal so uh, it is going to create a white color uh, text and uh, so that that is what is going to be written as the output so if you see here whenever i change the second uh, point as 256 so basically because the y coordinate is shifted at the center so therefore it is printing think iot at this particular place and uh, because i changed the colors to 255 255 255 on all the b g and r so combination of all those three is going to give me a 
white color and then i'm um, i'm showing the image using cv2 underscore im show so in this tutorial i've used an image which is a black and white image but if you want you can use any image as the input so as i've shown in the earlier tutorials you can mount your image from the google drive and uh, on that particular image also you can use these functions in order to create shapes or in order to put the text into that functions so and using the font also i've used uh, a very basic font that is there but python supports or opencv supports a lot of fonts which you can use uh, in order to create the text on the images thank you